In this channel I've shown many videos using 3D printing, but none like this one. They're usually in the area of robotics and electronics, but today I'll show you how I made this fully 3D printed tie for a low cost, and it looks awesome. I started out by printing out all of the pieces. I used two different materials. I used Ninja Flex for the back parts, those are the black ones, and I used PLA for the blue parts, that are the ones that you're going to see. As you can see, the Ninja Flex parts are flexible and they will make the main body of the tie. I sorted out all of the blue PLA pieces to make the assembly easier. This only took me a couple of minutes and it saved me a lot of time when it came to assembling. Talking about assembling, let's get started. These pieces have all pins and then the Ninja Flex pieces have holes in them. So these are very easy to just pin through. This design was very simple and very easy to use. I might change it in the future because I don't really like how the blue pins pop out of the back. But for now, it works. As you saw me do right there, I used two of the blue PLA pieces to attach the Ninja Flex parts together. Then I continued attaching the blue PLA pieces. I actually broke a couple of pieces because I attached them in the wrong place, or I, I attached them backwards. So once I was going to take them out to change them, I broke the pins. So I had to reprint them and this was time consuming. So if you are doing this, make sure to check twice so that you don't make the same mistake. While I was waiting for the replacements to print, I measured the diameter of my neck and then I cut some elastic band to length. As a maker, I have learned many different skills to help me with my builds, but this one was a first time for me. My mom teached me how to saw, and I was able to put this together. Those aren't the best stitches I have ever seen, but they get the job done and I really enjoyed learning a new skill. As you can see, I struggled quite a bit on this step, but as I said, it was very fun and I learned a lot. I actually cheated a bit at the end and I added some glue, just to make sure that the stitches won't pop out at any moment. And then I added the top covers to hide my work. As I said, I printed out the replacements, and by the time I was done with all of this stitching and sewing, they were ready to be installed. So I installed them, and this time I was really careful not to put them in the wrong place because I wouldn't want to print it a third time. And that's it. Now just put your new tie on and enjoy the view. If you liked my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one every Friday. Also, post in the comments below what you would like to see me build next.